In this video, we are going to go over the RSS header and RSS items elements in your email template builder. So these will help you send out your blogs and other RSS items via email. So to get started, just click on the element and drop it into your template. So here we have the RSS header. So this is going to auto populate your feed title and your feed description. Um, this is not editable, editable. You also have the option to do custom RSS. So if you click on custom, this is editable and you can update your RSS feed over here. And then here on the left, you can change your padding by toggling these up and down. And then you can also adjust your text using any of these options up here on the top. So you have heading options or paragraph text. You have font that you can choose from here. If you'd like to change the font size, you can select that from this drop down here. And then you can change the text color by clicking on this icon. You can select a color from here or you can type in a custom color code here. Same thing with the highlight. You can select a color over here or you can type in a custom color code here. And then if you'd like to bold, italicize, underline, or strike through your text, you have those options here. You can add link text if you'd like by clicking on this option and uploading your link URL, the text you'd like to display, the title. Um, this automatically goes to open the link in the new window, and then you can select from a link list if you'd like as well. And then you can change the alignment of your text to the left, center, right, or as justified. And then you can edit your line height by selecting these options here. If you'd like to use a bullet list, numbered list, or alpha list, you can select from these options. If you would like to clear your text formatting, you can click on this clear format. And then if you'd like to use custom values, you can click on this icon and select your custom values. You can also select trigger links. And then if you need to use content AI, you can use this as well. So going back to our elements, we can also use the RSS items. Go ahead and drag and drop that in. Again, you have edit options here. You can use excerpts, excerpts with image. You can use title, full content, or custom. The custom gives you the option to edit any of this. And then once again, you have padding options over here and then all of your text edit options up here on the top. 